The theorems of Pappus and Goldinus help us to find the surface area and the volumes of 3D objects without using integration usually. And so these are their equations where we have that the surface area equals the theta, which is the angle of rotation about an axis, measured in radians, multiplied by r bar, which is the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation to the centroid of the rotating or of the generating curve or line and then L is the length of that line. And so um, similarly we have the volume is theta which is once again the angle of rotation uh, measured in radians multiplied by R bar which is the perpendicular distance between the rotating the axis of rotation and the centroid of the generating area and A is that generating area. So um, those are the equations if we just have really one area and one um, line but this also works with composite bodies and so we have our surface area equation where that once again theta equals the same thing as it does up there and then multiply that by the sum of the r tilde times by l. Once again, l and a are the same as in these equations, and r tilde is almost the same as r bar, but r tilde is the, um, the perpendicular distance between the axis of rotation and each component centroid. So you break it up into its components, and then you find the centroid, and then r tilde is the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation to that centroid. So you multiply that by that same component's um, length of the line or the area, and then you add them all up with all the other ones and multiply it by theta, and you get the surface area or the volume. So those are the theorems of Pappus and Goldinus. I'm sure I'm saying their names wrong, but their equations are pretty useful. And I'll be going over this, um, this example problem. And it's pretty simple because we only have straight lines that make up this generating area. And with a problem like this, we won't have to integrate. If the, cur if the lines were curved instead of straight, then we would probably need to integrate to be able to find the centroid of the line as well as the length of the line and the area but in this case we won't have to if you want um, to go to the video going over this example problem you can click on this video link and if you found this video helpful hit that like button if you have any questions or suggestions leave them down in the comments and i'll reply to them i've got my website up and going ghostandengineering.com and it has all these videos on there plus the written out um, explanation step by step of the process of all these concepts and plus a few more things so going there and checking that out helps me out a lot so if you're new to this channel my name is Preston Palmer a student engineering and my goal is to help other engineering students like me better understand engineering so if you found this video helpful hit that like button and please subscribe